especially with new guys coming in with the senior guys. Getting right combination is good as well. Um, but for me, like I mentioned to them, you know, if you could execute, we could do so much more better executing plans, game execution, you know, so much better awareness. So yeah, we can get back to the winning ways if we look into say develop players as well. We must think we must have a balance in terms of what we're looking for as a franchise. If you wanna, you know, you get back to winning habits and you wanna develop players, you must have a balance and you must be willing to accept if you're looking for development, you might be at one point where you might lose a few games, but you're looking to develop players as well along the line. So for me, I think um, one, of, one of the main reasons or my main aim is if you get players in, in the West Indies setup, whether it be the A team, you know, on the 19 developed players, whatever the case may be, I think that's, um, that's, that's a good aim for the young guys. So sometimes you might be losing a few games here and there, but look at players development. Like I say, getting guys back in the West Indies, West Indies setup could be a very, very good thing for Guyana. His philosophy could be tested this season when the Regional 40 Championship starts February 1st, but it will clash with the two test tour to Zimbabwe followed by a full tour to South Africa. Just has been the growing case, key players from his arsenal are expected to be missing for some matches due to international commitments. Nevertheless, the head coach felt it was the perfect opportunity for young guys to step up now and show their worth, and they will go out and play hard cricket like any other day. In terms of how we want to create the environment, to get guys coming and training, playing cricket, working together, just building a different, not, not a different culture, just building a different environment in terms of how we look, look for the guys to go out there and play the game, make them comfortable so they could be at the best of ability. Um, not the too relaxed environment, you know, let them know that, look, we're here to get the job done, get the job done as, as best as your ability. I, I, I want to see guys go out there and actually fight, put up resilience and not just go down very simple. So for me, I think, like I say, it's just the, um, my philosophy as a coach. I know how I want the players to look at me. I know what I look for, look for, for from the players as well. So, I mean, like I said, it's nothing different really to what I've been doing before. I'm very acquainted with most of the guys and, you know, comfortable with the guys and, you know, I'm a hard worker as well. So it's just, just creating that environment where they can be comfortable, come out and work hard and um, hopefully enjoy success together. The Super 50 where the guy in the Harpy Eagle stumbled at the semi-finals was his first outing as head coach and the culture he aspires to create is a comfortable environment where there is a balanced relaxation but also an understanding by the players that they have to go out and work hard. For the newsroom, back in green.